time to come to the stage, very funny guy, give it up for Mr. Gary Caruso! <laughs> How's everybody doing tonight? Woo! Come on, how's everybody doing tonight? Woo! Yeah, I don't give a fuck. <laughs> Shit, man, this is fun. I'm uh, I just moved to the city, so this is new to me. You know, I wasn't sure how well I was gonna fit in the city until I got here. Right? I was making a right turn, and I had the right of way. The woman kept walking, right? So I didn't honk the horn or anything. I didn't give her the finger. I gave her a little shrug. Right? She looked at me. She held up her finger. She said, "Suck a dick." <laughs> and I immediately responded, "Fuck you, bitch ass cunt." And then our eyes met, and we had like a mutual respect for each other, you know? This doesn't happen to you? And then we just both went on our way. And I was like, this is fucking awesome. Jesus Christ. Where else can you do this shit? Oh man, I started, I, uh, I've been, I commuted to school for three years. This is my first year on my own. I'm dorming finally. I got my roommates over there. And, uh, you know, what I found out about the dorming life is it's full of just compromises and adjustments, right? First adjustment I had to make was, um, my masturbation schedule revolves around their class schedule. <laughs> it's like, yo, what time you guys got class? Oh, 9 to 2. 9 to 2. Okay. Why are you writing that down? No reason. No reason. I just know. I need to know. <laughs> oh, man. And, the, and another thing is the little things become commodities when you're, when you're, uh, when you're dormant, right? Little things, little things. I, uh, we were trying to eat um, the other night, and my friend was like, yo, what do you want to have tonight? I was like, oh, I don't know. He's like, I got it, bro. You want a couple of noodles for free? Right? And he emphasized the for free. And I was like, yeah, all right. Um, how much could a couple of noodles be going for? Maybe 40, 50 cents? Maybe microwavable trade? We're talking fucking Chef Boyardee here or something? <laughs> Jesus Christ. Woo! Yeah, so I do go to school in the city. As you can tell, I am clearly the minority in all of my classes. <laughs> <laughs> it's cool. I had class the other day. A professor came in. His name was uh, Professor Wachuku. Probably from like the Wachiki tribe or something. Like that. <laughs> right? <Very> and cool. <laughs> Mercy. Yeah. No. And he was he was having trouble relating to the class though because like no one could really understand him. You know, it was the first day of class too, so everyone just no one responded. Right? <laughs> so he was like he started with those easy rhetorical questions. You know that happens in those classes. He was like, everyone, um, give me some good traits about freedom. All right, no one says anything. I'm finally like, it's good. Like, well, it's good. <laughs> Anybody else? Some black dude in the back's like, yeah, it's a shit. Oh, it's a shit. It's a shit. <laughs> Always good to know. Anyone else? Southern guy in the middle's like, America, America, <laughs> America. <laughs> Where's uh, anybody watching reality TV in here? A few people did a little bit of references. What do you watch? Just, just tell me. I don't care. <laughs> no, you know what? Like, I don't mind people that watch reality TV. The, the TV, the reality TV shows that piss me off are the ones that help already famous people get laid. Have you seen this? <laughs> Brett Michaels, Channel Josinko. You think these guys had any problem meeting people? I don't think so. The first one that had this show, though, was um, Flavor Flav. You remember that? Flavor of Love, right? Yeah. I would have loved to have been at that meeting with the VH1 producer. Probably some guy named, like, Barry Goldstein. Bring Flav in! Bring him in! He's <laughs> <laughs> like, Flav, I got a great idea. It's gonna be a reality TV show. Flav's about to get up and walk away. Fuck that shit, I can do reality TV. <laughs> no, 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 wait! Along with millions of dollars, hundreds of women will fight for your affection. Oh, okay. All right. <laughs> This is going in good places. Well, they put out, God, they're the biggest whores I've ever met, Flav. I picked them myself. If you don't get laid on this show, you got a problem. <laughs> and he was like, Flavor, Flavor! <laughs> and that means yes. In Flavor, Flavor, Lingo. <laughs> oh, shit. Yeah, I, I tend to say a lot of stupid things. Me and my friends over here, right there. We say some stupid shit, right? One of my friends, he's not here tonight, but uh, he just had a kid a few months ago, right? Thank you, that guy clapping over there for kids. <laughs> so um, he decides to throw like a party, you know, he invites like his family and the girl's family over, right? So we're meeting everybody. Shut up, Asian bitch. So we're meeting everybody. <laughs> She's 
bills, she's probably I'm getting some money. She's collecting. Get them from the bank. No, be nice. She'll do your taxes. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Anyway, as I was saying, Asian girl. So he brings the family over, right? Now I already know his family, obviously, but I meet the girl's parents for the first time. Mom comes out, a very nice lady. Had a conversation with her a couple of minutes, and the dad comes out, and he's missing half of his leg, and he's on crutches, right? So, since I say a lot of stupid things, I'm like, oh my god, what happened to your leg? As if he's going to look down and go, oh my god, it's not there. How many ways can you even lose a leg, right? It's either like war, you had an accident, or you had cancer or something like that, right? It's not like he's going to be like, well, I was in the Bronx. <laughs> Fucking bad area. That was That's funny. <laughs> oh, man. I got an Asian joke, don't worry. It's coming. It's coming. Fuck Korean joke, whatever. They're the same. Uh, you want to see an Asian spirit leave their body? You beat them in Super Smash Bros. and chess back to back. I get it! I get that shit! My friend Takuya in the high school, he didn't know what was coming. I was like the popular kid in the chess club, step aside. Who you got, Takuya? What you got? Motherfucker, he got down his knees. <laughs> That's how they kill themselves in Asia. <laughs> Man, I worked with kids for years. Kids are, oh god, I hate kids. <laughs> but the best was working with the little kids, though, right? Because when I work with like the uh, five and six year olds, they have a six, uh, seven foot hoop. If you can't tell from here, I'm not a very tall person. <laughs> Seven foot hoop to me, I was fucking Dwight Howard under that shit. Kid would be running through, yeah, basketball. Get the fuck out of here with that shit. <laughs> Try and dribble past me, bitch. <laughs> oh, damn. Hold on, I had a few other things up here. Just give me a few minutes to collect myself. Gay guy in the front. Are these girls with you? Because you are gorgeous. If you're not doing anything after this, <laughs> I'm the youngest person in here as a comic. Who knows? This could go places. <laughs> Alright, you know what? I'm out of here anyway. This is whack. I'm getting a Crusoe, guys.